Let's get to our final off the record parting shots. Mark Weaver, we'll start with you. So as a campaign consultant, I am not the consultant to the official DeWine and Husted committee. I'm advising the outside group securing Ohio's future. Here's what we found out in the last few days. There are a lot of donors who want to give independent expenditure dollars to help this because they're so excited that Mike DeWine and John Husted are now together. They were on the sidelines, these donors, and now they're interested in donating. Sam. We are witnessing a transformation and a demise of the transparent democratic process in America. The way legislation is being put together now, no public hearings, no opportunities for people to, to see the legislation before it's drafted. It's like little boys in the sand drawing up legislation and then they call the play. Uh, we're watching, it, this is the transform transformational period. It is a sad period in the history of American democracy. Darrell. My comments also on the, the DeWine Houston DeWines. Uh, it's intriguing that uh, by every account, these two men, or certainly their two campaigns, did this union themselves. Uh, there was no party leader involvement. There was no trying to whittle the field because party leaders hate primaries. Uh, that supposedly was what happened back in the 90s when you had, you know, a Bob Taft and a George Voynich hitting for a collision uh, in that year, and then they were went their different ways. Um, but it turns out that's a little bit of urban myth as well. Bob Bennett's gotten a little bit too much credit for heading that off over the years. And Julie? Um, what I was going to say is that one of the intriguing issues to me to watch is a resignation uh, oftentimes ends an inquiry. And when all of these people who are accused get uh, leave their jobs, then we don't get many of the public records or the real details. So I'm not sure you always want to call for resignation. <laughs> George Thorogood said that classic line, don't feed me no lines and keep your hands to yourself. That should be the theme song in every office building around America right now.